everybody. It's week one of your class. We're not having a Wimba this week, but uh, I did want to send you a welcome note, which is happening via this video. And this will also serve as your Wimba session for the week so that you get a chance to get to know me, John Roneski, a little bit better, more up close and personal. Coming to you from Full Sail University, building number five. And uh, we've got a number of things to, to cover, so let's get started. Hi there. Sorry, I got involved in some research and, uh, well, quite honestly, I didn't realize anybody had joined me. Welcome to the first week of Internet Research Strategies. We've got a lot planned for you this month. This video, by the way, uh, most of you know me from display advertising, so uh, I can't say it's really a chance to get to know me because that you already do. However, this video is going to replace your week one Wimbo. We're actually only going to do two Wimbos this month. We'll do weeks two and three. And this will give you an opportunity to, uh, to learn a little bit about what we're going to do this week and then also the coming weeks. Let me give you uh, uh, those, those coming weeks and, and paint the month with a broad brush because we've got a number of things that, that we're going to accomplish this month. We're going to talk about what research is, what marketing research is in particular, and how it applies to strategy. Then we're going to take a look into doing some secondary research. By the way, secondary research is gathering data that's already been collected by somebody else. It's data that's out there that we can, we can grab without having to give somebody a survey or to sit somebody down in a, a room and do an interview with. So we're going to do, in week two, secondary research. And the purpose behind that secondary research is going to be several fold. We're going to be trying to identify what the environment is, what the business environment is. We're going to try and understand what our, our competition is doing. And, and most importantly, we're going to try and understand who is our, our customer. Remember back in display advertising, you were creating ads for different personas, micro segments? Well, the question is, where do you find those micro segments? And the answer is, you find those, those individuals and you determine those personalities through your market research. Then in week three, we're going to switch gears and we're going to do some primary research, which is where you're actually going to develop a, a survey. And not only are we going to develop a survey, but then we're going to do some validity testing, which means that as peers, we're going to look and take each other's survey. And then finally in week four, we're going to, we're going to put a couple things together. We're going to explore um, qualitative research, which is really where we start to get uh, and, and ask open-ended questions. We're going to have you explore a, a internet phenomena, which is research panels. And then you're going to put all your, your information together from, from weeks one through and one, two, and three. And you're actually going to put together a research proposal. So that's the that's the, the, the broad picture for the for the month. And this week, what we're really doing is we're, number one, understanding the, the value to research. Second of all, then we're identifying what a research problem is. Now, a couple of quick words. Remember, a research problem, and in particular, we're going to be looking for a marketing problem. We want to identify something that, that we want to do, but that we're currently not able to do from a marketing standpoint. So, do we want to expand our market? Do we want to expand our reach? Are we looking to launch a new product? Are we looking to launch a new business model? These are all research questions that we'll be able to dig into as the month goes forward. So in your reading, there are a couple examples of, of research problems. Take a look at those, see if any of those fit your particular situation, and if so, adapt it to your own personal needs. If you can customize the research that you do this month to what you're doing in the real world, it's going to be a win-win-win. So, look forward to talking to you soon. Everybody have a great week. The best way to get a hold of me is my cell phone, 407-267-8600. That's my personal cell phone. I carry it with me everywhere I go. So, if you do have a question, just call. 
If I don't pick up, I'm probably doing something that prevents me from answering the phone, but I'll know right away and I'll be able to give you a call back very quickly. You all have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye now. Thank you.